On this problem, ladies and gentlemen, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the transformation by the transformation vector 1, 4. All right? So to do this, the first thing we need to do is remember how to plot the points. So once we plot the points, though, ladies and gentlemen, we're not done. We need to make sure we also label the points as well. So I'm just going to first go and label or plot these points. All right, so my first point is L, which is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. And this is a quadrilateral. M is at 4, negative 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1. Then I have N at 0, 1. And then I have P at 1, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So now, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the transformational vector. All right? And one way we can look at this is say, well, what is this transformational vector? How is this going to shift? How is this going to move our polygon? So our transformational vector is at 1, 4. So let, one thing you guys can do is draw that vector, 1, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to shift, slide, whatever you want to think about, translate our figure in the direction and in the length of that vector. So one thing that I like to do is, you know, I told you guys, you can, you can um, so, oh, is it? No, I'm sorry. My transformational vector is not that. It's negative 4, 3, right? Negative 4, 3 tells you to go to the left 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, down 3. 1, 2, 3. Sorry about that. That's the transformational vector. That is negative 4, negative 3. That's the transformational vector. Sorry, I, didn't, I, read, I read P. Transformational vector is right here. right? So what is that transformational vector telling you to do? That's telling you to shift your, your figure left four units. And then it's telling you, since it's negative, to shift down three units. right? Because it's negative, so you go down three. And it's negative four, so you go left four. All right. Now, John, what was important about this when we talked about last class period was when you guys are looking at this, all right, what we did is you guys, since these are both negative, you can add the negative to each x and y coordinate inside of here. Just subtract, just add a negative 4, add a negative 3. Add a negative 4, add a negative 3. Add a negative 4, add a negative 3, right? You can do that to each point and then replot all the points. Another way you guys can do this is apply the transformational vector to each one of these points. So the transformational vector is negative 4, 3. So to find my new transform point, all I do is I pick each point and I go negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then down 3. 1, 2, 3. So if that's n, this is now n prime. Right? If this is p, go left 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, down 3. 1, 2, 3. Yes, there are our one, two. Wait. Oh, that's bad spacing. Jeez. One, two, three. All right. Yes, once you move them, we call them prime because they're the same point, but they're now been moved. So left four, one, two, three, four, down three, one, two, three. And then M, left four. Down three, one, two, three. So that is now m prime. This is now l prime. So you guys see how I just used that transformational vector? I know my spacing is not perfectly correct. But I took the vector and I applied it to every single one of my points. Now, once I have that, now I can simply just go and connect my new prime points. And you guys can see I have now the exact same vector, but that has been transformed by the vector negative 4, negative 3. OK, Shane? Make sense? Good. Isn't that cool? OK. What I'd like you guys to do now as I go.